Hey everyone, on this episode of American Travel Family, we are taking you to Cottonwood, Arizona. Hi everyone, we just got back from a great trip in Cottonwood, and on this episode, we're gonna show you all about Arizona's wine country. That's right, we had a great weekend celebrating a friend's birthday, and it was an adults-only weekend, so we had a lot of fun amongst the adults, and we're gonna show you all about Cottonwood, Arizona, and also three of the wineries that are near Cottonwood. Now, Cottonwood sits right between Sedona and Prescott, and it's just about an hour and 45 minutes away from here. So let's get started. Hope you enjoy this video. Cheers. Cheers. So stay tuned for this adults only episode. We're gonna show you where to stay in Cottonwood, explore Main Street, and take you on a tour of three of the best wineries in the area. And can you tell, we're gonna have a lot of fun along the way and tell you why Cottonwood is back on the map and worth a weekend visit. So 20 years ago, if you would have asked us, are we gonna spend a weekend in Cottonwood? It wouldn't come to mind, let's just say that. Not at all. Not I at all. I would have been like, what the heck are you going to Cottonwood for? <laughs> but let me tell you, we were completely surprised with Cottonwood and old Cottonwood. It has been totally revitalized. Well, in progress, but most of it has been totally revitalized. We had a great weekend. We stayed at a great hotel, ate at some great restaurants, and there were some great watering holes. So, And it was just great. Yeah, I keep super, saying super great, great because it was totally surprised <laughs> We were us, shocked. And we actually can't wait to go back. So we're going to show you a little bit about the town right now. When you're planning your weekend, we recommend staying in the heart of Old Town Cottonwood off of Main Street. There are only a few hotels here, but we recommend staying at the Tavern. It's a brand new boutique hotel with a lot of charm. Okay, so we're about ready to check into our hotel. We're right downtown in Cottonwood at Tavern Hotel, which is actually a boutique hotel that was recently renovated and it looks adorable and I'm excited to get in and see our room. Yeah, let's go check it out. It's when you check into the tavern, you can instantly feel its charm, like this great fire pit out front here, all the details in the lobby, and everything just feels brand new. How cute is this? <laughs> all right, let's do it. So we are in the lobby, and, and it's check super this out. cute already. So I got, oh yeah, dry wine. There's even a wine cart. But they're really dry, get it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. And of note, when we checked in, the uh, manager said that Cottonwood is hot. He it said is. they are fully committed and booked throughout the spring season and into the summer mm -hmm. because they just recently been designated Arizona's wine region. So a lot of folks are coming here and yeah. they're revitalizing Cottonwood. Good time. And it's it's Cottonwood's going big time. All right, yeah, let's go check is. out our room. Oh okay. no! <laughs> oh, we gotta get out of the go. elevator. All right. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, All right. Look at the cage for me. Uh, Bye. Big bird Contain cage. Me. There are great details all over the hotel and everything is spotless and new. And now we're gonna give you a good room tour. First, Brooke needs to figure out how to unlock the room door. Hey, what's up? Good job. Are we? Oh wait, that's not a room. Just kidding. <laughs> no, you gotta pull the key out really quick. I did. Ours, ours, this ours, is an adult weekend, like by you. the way. This is this is our our neighbor Kim. I had to come help us out. Okay. Nice. The, where's the jacuzzi hot tub? All right. So we're on the street view. Hey, can you all keep it quiet? Can you all keep it down down there? <laughs> All right, right behind this roof here is Main Street. All right, so we're definitely in walking distance. All right, where are you guys going? Already? Okay. Still? Ooh, okay, we'll be right down. I'll just see on my lounge. So very cool, renovated, little retro feel. Mm -hmm. That is, I don't know if that's old that's school downtown. Cottonwood. Yeah, yep. that's downtown. And it's pretty spacious, nice. Wow, look at that mirror. That's actually really cool. Oh my, 
Check this out. Wow, that is an epic shower and bathroom. So very impressed so far. What do you think? I like it. I really like these tall ceilings. And what's not to like about this little situation? It's cute and mod. And hey, look at it. It says Jerome Dairy Co. right on here. Look yeah. at it right above there. Huh. All right. So far, Cottonwood is not disappointing. <laughs> not disappointing And at all. so we're going to get settled in here and then head out for some dinner. Before we head out, let's check out some of the other hotel amenities. These are private casitas across the street, which you can also rent if you've got a larger group or a larger family. And right behind the casitas are the pool and small gym. We're gonna go check out the fitness center and the pool. Okay, here, see there's another little cottage. They're so cute. Little grass area, oh my gosh. It is a little micro fitness center, how cute is this oh my gosh the pool house how cute and then here we go yeah they did a good job look at it. it's ready with all the towels ready to go just a nice little refreshing dip in the pool and we are in Arizona. Let's see if it's heated. Oh yeah. It's heated, nice. So we are in Arizona. So during the summer months, it really does get hot here. And it's so nice to have a little area where you can take a little dip in a pool or something to get refreshed and you know, keep your day going on. Here's some rules right here, but this is, they did a really cute job. I don't know, I'm kind of in love with this pool house right here. Super cute. Let's go check out the gym. Okay, let's go check out the gym. They also have a bathroom, which is always nice, right off the pool area. A little porched in area. Let's see. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay. okay, so this is a cute micro gym. But they have the basics right here. Everything you need, there's some yoga um, mats too, so you can take that out on the front patio or on the grass and use it. And the equipment is nice and clean, and they have a TV. So all the basics you need. I think yoga would be so fun out here, putting these mats out, doing a little yoga, yoga time. Okay. But right now, I think I'm gonna go on this big chair and have my coffee for the morning. <laughs> this kind of reminds me like of Huntington Beach. They have a big chair too. And every year we have <laughs> pictures with our kids in these chairs. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> coffee is served. <laughs> Here's a couple other nice touches. One cool thing when you check in here, you get tickets for a cocktail and you get breakfast coupons for every morning at their tavern grill. I'm very thankful for it. <laughs> the tavern has its own grill and we're gonna go use the coupons that they gave us while we checked in and go check it out. It's right across the parking lot. And meet up with our friends. <laughs> yes we are. All right let's go. So there's the grill. And there's our room right up there. We've got one of the balcony rooms. After we got the group together at the tavern, we headed over to Merkin, another great watering hole on Main Street. At Merkin Vineyards, uh, they have a tasting room in downtown and they also have wineries in uh, Camp Verde and also tasting rooms all around the state, like in Scottsdale and anyway. Yeah. But a great place to stop for wine and also lunch. Uh, you know, a great restaurant as well. But the thing about Merkin is uh, Maynard from Tool is the uh, owner. And uh, he started up some wineries here in central Arizona, owns a couple here in Cottonwood and also in Jerome with tasting rooms 
in the valley as well. But it's a great first stopping point and uh, they had great food and great wine. Yeah, the food was really good. <laughs> Check this out. Right in the center of town, across the street from the Tavern Hotel, is a new winery that is being built by Maynard. So this winery <laughs> is going to be one of the main attractions downtown here. It overlooks downtown mm -hmm. and it's pretty massive and they're actually yeah. going to be growing grapes on the property as well. Right. All right, let's get this evening started and head out for some dinner. What's up everybody? So we've been in Cottonwood just a couple hours and it does not disappoint. We hit up happy hour, we played some bocce <laughs> ball, and now we are heading to dinner. We checked in our hotel, which was pretty awesome. So what do you think about it so far? I think it's super fun. I was not expecting it. I think it's a new destination in Arizona, definitely between Sedona and Prescott that is worthy of the stop and worthy to come have dinner, check it out. And also it's Arizona's wine country, so why not? At the end of Main Street is Bachi. This is where we had dinner. It's a great place to eat or just stop and have happy hour drinks. There's a large courtyard with an outdoor bar, and there's also a bocce ball court. We really enjoyed the food here. They had awesome pizzas and an Italian-inspired menu. They also had local wines from the region, local craft beers, and a great cocktail menu. We had a lot of fun here. So we just had a great dinner in town at Bocce, mm. and now we're back at our hotel. And I'll tell you, we That's are so, so impressed with Cottonwood right now, man. It is awesome. It is. What do you think? I. I am really impressed with Cottonwood. They really have brought it to a new level here. Yeah, it, I mean, everything, they're like, it's totally revitalized, rejuvenated, mm -hmm. like the downtown really old is. Cottonwood, there's it's bars, restaurants, this hotel eat. is amazing. Yeah. Like, honestly, never expected this. Super impressed. Um, we would tell you, definitely come check out Cottonwood, but we almost don't want to spoil the secret. So <laughs> it's been a fun day and a great start to the weekend. Now it's time to head back to the room and sleep it off so we can be ready for tomorrow's adventures in wine tasting. Good morning, everyone. So last night was super fun. We went to a bunch of different places on the strip and now it's morning and we're gonna go get some coffee at this little outdoor coffee place where you can just pick up at their window. All right, yeah. definitely need some coffee this morning. Coffee time. Right across the street from the hotel is a great coffee shop and breakfast place. And this is the place that you can use the coupons that you got when you checked in at the tavern. Rose chai tea sounds delicious. Nice. Okay. All the espresso. Okay, right we on. just picked up our coffees from Crema. It's right on Main Street. And check that cinnamon, cinnamon roll, roll out. That, uh, that is gonna be delicious. I can't wait to break into it. And they have some unique, um, espresso offerings and coffee offerings. They had rose chai latte. Let me tell you, I was very tempted, but I went with my classic skinny vanilla latte <laughs> and it's good. So enough about all that. Let's check out the wineries, which is why you're here. Just outside of Cottonwood and 20 minutes away down Page Springs Road and all along Oak Creek, which you see here, there are several wineries. We're gonna stop off at three of them in a day, tell you all about them, and maybe even have a glass of wine or two. Since we had a large group, we hired a private shuttle to take us to the wineries. You can also Uber or have a designated driver, but definitely have a plan. Yeah. There you go, cheers. cheers. So the first winery we're going to is called Page Springs Cellars. And it is probably the go-to winery. If you it's haven't my been, favorite. If you haven't been to the wine country in Arizona, it's a great starting point. It's one of our favorite. We've been there several times. It's one of the larger wineries. They've got beautiful grounds yeah. and it sits right on Oak Creek. So you can literally get a glass, get a bottle, and walk all the way down to Oak Creek and dip your toes in the water if you want to and just enjoy the beautiful creek and the surrounding area of Page Spring Cellars. So let's go check it out. Yeah. We've been to this winery several times. Now on this trip, we're actually here during the winter time. So there are actually no leaves on the branches and no grapes on the vines. But here's a glimpse of what it looks like when we were here just a few months ago in the summertime. So as you can see, it's very lush that time of year. So grab a glass of wine or a bottle from the tasting room up top, then head down and to the right out back and you will find this walkway which leads you all the way down to a sitting area overlooking Oak Creek. Once you're at this sitting area, 
If you veer off to the right, there's a path which will take you actually all the way down to the creek so you can dip your toes in if you desire. In the summertime, the summer monsoons muddy up the creek, but normally the creek is pretty clear. You can also get epic charcuterie boards there that are so good, and there's like many different ones to pick from. Yeah, we'll show you that right now. Charcuterie, charcuterie, uh, I don't know. How do you a say it? Snack, how do you say it? Snack food, let's check it out. So far, so good. Very good. So good. These um, charcuterie boards are pretty uh, nice. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be back with more water. Anything else at the moment? Uh, water will be good, and then she might. We'll, we'll probably get another bottle. So, uh, you want to do the grenache? Well, you guys tried the grenache, but it's pretty good. Is it good? Yeah. So good. Yeah, a nice light body bread, but then strawberry a little piece of spice. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Right. All right, that's about it for Page Spring Cellars. If you have a large group, we definitely recommend calling ahead and making a reservation for a private tasting. Next up is Havelina Leaf Winery. That's right, another great stop. And it's literally right across the street from Page Spring Cellars and maybe a block away. So definitely recommend stopping here as your second stop on your wine tour. It's across the highway, so it's not on the creek. However, they've got beautiful grounds as well. They've got a huge grass area, which is covered with big trees. And it's great because you can go out there and play cornhole, there's picnic tables, or you can just sit in the shade and enjoy your wine. And also, when you get to the winery, venture out past the main tasting room, around to the left and down toward the back of the winery. And there is actually another wine tasting room called the Arizona room and most people don't actually see this yeah. but it's a great another tasting room and they even have an outdoor patio where you can sit and uh, eat yeah. or drink as well so yeah. definitely check it out oh right, and the most important thing they have wine popsicles oh. at the front wine tasting area. that's right in the summer there are wine <laughs> so <popsicles>. good <laughs> awesome all right let's check out Havelina Leap winery cheers <laughs> Hi everyone, we're at Havelina Winery. It's really a cute place for wine, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but there are uh, wine uh, vines right behind us. Obviously this time of year there's no grapes Yeah, there's on no them, grapes. But the weather is actually pretty awesome. It's what, like maybe 60 yeah, degrees. we're in Arizona, so right now is a great time to visit. But I see down below our food is here, so we gotta go oh, check yeah. out some it's of the food. time to eat. Food. <laughs> All right, I'll see, see what it. we get. Here's the front and the main tasting room with those awesome wine popsicles. If you veer off to the left over here, you'll get back to that Arizona room we were just talking about. All right, we're heading out of Havelina Leap Winery. That's a wrap. Great place to come when you're up in uh, the Cottonwood area or Page Springs area. Now we're on to the next winery. All right, next up is DA Ranch Winery. Now this is definitely another uh, spot that you must check out. This is another one we had a lot of fun at. Look for the sign in the tractor which will point you up the road toward the property. It's set back from the road so you won't see it unless you know where to go. This property has great views and large grounds. And just like its name, it sits on a large ranch with a duck pond and a large farmhouse tasting room. Out back there are several picnic tables and a large patio where you can enjoy your wine. You're also free to explore the property and on weekends there is live music. So here's a look at DA Ranch. This is DA Ranch Winery. As you walk in, you can buy wine by the glass or a tasting flight. You can also head inside the farmhouse and there is another tasting room in the back. Once you've got your favorite glass, head outside and explore the ranch, enjoy the live music, and you might even make a new friend. Now let's head out back by the pond and see what other fun things the winery has to offer. And this is probably, for the grounds and the space they have, one of my favorite. There's a huge farmhouse behind us. 
there's actually live music going on right now and just a beautiful yeah. like uh, atmosphere to enjoy some wine and the beautiful weather. Yeah, I like it. I like that they have goats and they have baby goats here. Yes, they do have goats. <laughs> they have goats and dogs, so and, I'm happy. Yeah, there's dogs that belong to the ranch that just roam around and, and like lay on the floor next to you. And inhale food that <laughs> falls out of your mouth. Don't feed the animals. <laughs> Don't feed them. <laughs> well, we're having a great time here. So we're going to go get uh, our next glass in our tasting and maybe go check out the goats. Brooke really wants to go see the goats. The goats are on us. <laughs> Cute, and they have baby ones out here. It's so adorable. I want to pick them up and hold, hold, hug them, feed them. <laughs> oh, and they have a burrow right there. It's a burrow, right? Who are you calling donkey, donkey? I'm some weird looking sheep. <laughs> so cute. Dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, you really can't beat this in northern Arizona. We're drinking wine on a ranch and Brooke is petting a donkey. I'm in my happy place. Yeah, there's nothing better than this right now. After heading back to the patio to finish our wine and enjoy the great weather with our friends and snap some pics, We noticed there was something else this ranch had to offer, which seemed like a lot of fun. We came in like a wrecking ball. Dad, I could jump in. I've been so fall in love. All I want is to break the walls and my memory. Break me. You break me. Okay. One, two, three, jump. All right, we definitely had a lot of fun at DA Ranch Winery. But just like any wine trip, after visiting three wineries in one day, the bus ride home sometimes is the most fun. We had such a fun weekend celebrating our friend's birthday. We definitely recommend checking out Arizona's wine country and Cottonwood on a weekend trip or even a quick day trip. All right, that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this episode of American Travel Family on Arizona's wine country and Cottonwood, Arizona. Cottonwood, what up? So anyway, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below. Cheers. Cheers. Be sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram and check out our website at americantravelfamily.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family adventures.